Released from jail at midnight with no phone, no car. Eleven months later, Maitrese Richardson's remains were found in a ravine. Tonight, criticism over the way the L.A. County Sheriff's Department handled the case is growing. Carolyn Castillo live in Boyle Heights with new developments tonight. Carolyn. Yeah, Micah, according to the coroner's report, sheriff's deputies removed Mitrice Richardson's remains without permission and despite uh, instructions, despite advice. Whether or not this compromised the investigation, not known tonight. But after a two-hour meeting between sheriff's deputies and the coroner's office, both sides have come out and said this was clearly a miscommunication. They have agreed to an independent review to find out what went wrong here. When the coroner's report on Mitrice Richardson came back inconclusive, her father, Michael Richardson, says he spoke to Assistant Chief Coroner Ed Winter. He said, unfortunately, the sheriff botched up your daughter's investigation by removing the remains, and I just went ballistic at that point. According to the coroner's report, it was, quote, against the direction of Assistant Chief Winter that LASD detectives collected Mitrice's remains and airlifted them away. Chief Winter now telling the L.A. Times deputies may have broken the law and compromised the thoroughness of the coroner's investigation by disregarding his very clear instructions. The coroner's chief investigator, Craig Harvey. I'm not going to say no harm, no foul, but at this point we don't have any, any indication that the final findings, as which as you know are undetermined, would have changed. During a meeting today between the coroner's office and the sheriff's department, both groups agreed to review what happened. We have an investigator from the coroner's office and an investigator from the sheriff's department together are going to look at what appears to be at this point a miscommunication. Mitrice Richardson disappeared in 2009 after being released at midnight from the sheriff's Lost Hills Malibu station without a car, purse, or cell phone. Eleven months later, her body was found in a Malibu Canyon ravine. Richardson's family has criticized the sheriff's department for what they believe was an unsafe and irresponsible release that night. Today's developments adding to the family's anger and mistrust. There's an increase of police misconduct, and Sheriff Baca needs to look into that. And I am told that the Office of Independent Review has already begun an investigation. That investigation begun today. Uh, we should mention there are already two lawsuits against the L.A. County Sheriff's Department launched by the Richardson family in regard to the way this case has been handled. Reporting live in Boyle Heights, Carolyn Costello-Mica, back to you in Hollywood. Carolyn.